Flavor Balance Heat, the podcast for hot sauce lovers and makers, is brought to you by Scoville.com. Try Scoville.com's hot sauce subscription box, where you pick the heat, flavor, and food pairings you want in your box. Get one or three bottles delivered to your door each month. Choose your heat level, flavor profile, and food pairings. And it's completely customizable each month. You no longer have to worry about getting the sauces you don't like or won't use. Scoville.com specially curates each month's box based on your personal preferences. And best of all, High Desert Sauce Co., Butterfly Bakery of Vermont, and Irish Spike's unique hot sauces are all available at Scoville.com. Zach is the reason we stopped doing uh, challenges. challenges. Yeah. Because no, no, Zach is the reason you stopped doing challenges. Well, Not you me. sent you sent us the gumballs though. Zach sent us the spiciest gumball on, in the world, and trouble bubble from K Johns or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. sixteen million capsaicin powder. Have- Welcome to Flavor Balance Heat, the podcast for hot sauce lovers and makers. I'm Spike. I'm Zach. And I'm Claire. And today we're talking to Kaylin and Bentley from Snail Mate and Hot Sauce for Blood, the review channel. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Good. Thanks for having Hello. us. We're, we're, a, we're a band. <laughs> yes, yeah. I should have said Snail Mate, we're the a, band, and you the review <laughs> channel. We're just we're supposed to say it more than once. We, I guess. we were told to say it as much as to let people know as yeah. much as possible. <laughs> You're a band. I think you're the third oh. band we've had on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we had Skating uh, Polly. Yeah. We had Guster. And Guster. now we've had you. Sick. All right. Skating Polly's awesome. podcast going? Uh, I'm going to ask you guys, like, why in the fuck are you doing other podcasts before you do our podcasts? Oh. Why in the fuck are you booked out four months and not giving your favorite band priority? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, anyway, welcome to the shit I show. I don't think those other bands have hot sauces with High Desert Sauce Company, but we no, do. No, but uh, <laughs> one, of them has, one of them has sauces with Spike. The other one has uh, mustard with Glare. So it's uh-huh. not that. So, you know. so you're the you're the low on the totem pole, I guess. I am low on the totem pole. Honestly. You're like uh, skating. Polly's is really awesome. They just played at the, the bar I work at at the Rebel Lounge. They're oh, great. Oh, really? Yeah, they're yeah. they're awesome. great. Oh, that's super dope. awesome. Yeah. And, and they, they were on poly sauce. Really? Yeah. I, Did they have it? I, they didn't have they any did, on. They didn't have yeah. it this, this run. Oh, I would have bought some. I was going to say, if Kaylin didn't buy that, I'd be so mad. The band opening up for Skating Polly on this tour. Bugsy? Um, Bugsy. Yeah. Uh, Minneapolis, <laughs> that snip. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of Bugsy. They so. rock. Yeah, they, they, rock. they all rock. Yeah. That's Such awesome. Guys. Yeah. So ha- tell us your history with, uh, you know, hot sauce and spicy food and what, I mean... How did you get involved in the world of spiciness? I think we have different stories here. Yeah, I, I always had hot sauce um, in my fridge. My mom um, has always had a really big sense of adventure. Uh, so she took us to like a lot of uh, Southern American and Central American countries when I was growing up. And she would pr- collect hot sauces while we were there and bring them home. And they'd sit in our fridge for years and years and years. Uh, and, Why? <laughs> uh, well, I, no one really ate them. And then I, until, until I did, you know, and, uh, but I've always, I've always liked hot, hot sauce, Mexican food growing up in the Southwest. Um, it's always been a, a big thing of mine. Phoenix is not the Southwest. That's a whole nother country. It's a country well, it, of its own. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's a weird place. It's, it's a weird hot. place. It's a yes. Weird place. <laughs> but we do have good Mexican food, uh, which means I was yeah. exposed to spicy stuff from a young age. Uh, I grew up got, getting... Two, two, two sons got better Mexican food. Just yeah. Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're even. He's the host, so we can let him yeah. be wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I used to get punished with Tabasco when I was a kid, um, when I did something bad. Instead of soap? Yeah. That's not yeah. the first time we've heard that. Tabasco that we've got on second the or third time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was my intro to hot sauce. So it's weird that you like it, is it? Uh, you know. Well, for a while, I didn't think I liked Tabasco. Um, you actually made me retry it because I was into like I've always loved other hot sauces, and like I remember growing up going to a little Mexican place and getting the little cups of stuff, and I would just drink them because I was like, "Oh, this is cool. It makes you feel weird." And uh, I would just like <laughs> drink hot sauce and stuff. And then uh, when I met Kaylin, he was like, "Just do you like Tabasco?" And I'm like, "No, 
I don't think so. And he's like, come on, just try it again. Cause it had been since I was a kid, like getting it on my tongue. And then I was like, holy shit. This yeah, we're, t- we're Tabasco. <laughs> we're Tabasco people. I yeah. know. I'm, I'm sure Zach has an opinion about that, but we. <laughs> Spike has more of an opinion. I, about I do. That yeah. Than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, not a hot sauce. It's a really good uh, ingredient. Okay. It is a good. Yeah, <laughs> it is. No, that makes it, sense. It, yeah. It makes a lot of food better. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Before yeah, we, we move love forward, it. I must say, Kaylin, your hair is fucking amazing right now. Oh, thank you. He almost cut it right I almost this. cut it today, and then I decided <laughs> against it. I, yeah, thank you. I'm, uh, in my, I'm in my mad scientist phase right now. Bleach it a little more. It'll it'll die off. Yeah. Uh, Bentley has a has a Tabasco tattoo on his face. I do. Literally, oh, wow. I'm sweaty. I'm oh, a sweaty yeah. face. I'm so... We- and I got a chili pepper over here on my neck. Awesome. Oh, yeah. oh. And then, uh, so I always had hot sauce in my fridge, and then uh, Bentley would come over, and we'd, we'd eat it. And then when we started touring as Snail Mate, uh, oh. we realized that there was a lot of hot sauces that were hyper-regional. Um, so we started uh, scouring grocery stores and bodegas and anything we could find, uh, gift shops, whatever we could find to find uh, weird little local hot sauces. Yeah. And then, you know, to every to the one of the best things that could have come out of the pandemic was people uh, hot sauces started uh, – you know, people start really focusing on their hot sauces, and it was really just one of the coolest things that we were able to witness. Um, yeah, that's and, so cool. Uh, since we weren't playing music at the time, yeah. and if we had a fridge full of over 100 hot sauces that we'd collected on tour, we decided we would start reviewing, and we didn't know that that was a thing people did. Mm-hmm. We didn't know that it would uh, immediately connect us to this incredible scene. It's very much like the music scene. You know, it's uh, independent hot sauce makers who ha- are putting their own personality into the sauce and just like musicians are you know it's a it's a gamble it's your everyone is kind of putting their their heart and soul out there with no guarantee for success just like you know starting a new band and it's really found a lot of parallels between making hot sauce and playing music and it's just been super cool and everyone's been so kind to us that's yeah, awesome feel like that's we great. have a whole family mm-hmm. hot sauce yeah. family yeah and it's and I also like music. It's really supportive. Everybody kind of supports one another. And I really like that. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, don't know about everybody. <laughs> yeah, not everybody. <laughs> not everybody. <It's> <laughs> Always, yeah, right. no matter where you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a day on tour for us is we drive to the next town and then we go to like every grocery store or like co-op or whatever that we can find to look for like every sauce that we haven't seen before, and then we buy them all and then we go to the show. And that's like what we do like every day. We just like go to grocery stores. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, like lo- we try to do the local like shops to find, do, are we gonna, find the cool stuff. You know what I mean? Are like we going to be able to afford dinner or this bottle of hot sauce? And usually we'll go for that. <laughs> we go for the hot sauce. <laughs> well, what do you feel like makes a great hot sauce? Like what do you look for when you're buying those sauces on tour? Um, we definitely read the ingredients. You know, we try to uh, find things that maybe have a, a blend of ingredients that we haven't tried before, you know, a unique kind of spin or taste that we can uh we've gotten pretty good at imagining what a sauce is going to taste like just by reading the ingredients and by trying so many uh really. yeah i mean at this point we've had we've reviewed what what is it like 400 or some a lot. ungodly amount yeah a lot um, <laughs> and yeah just something that we've never n- never tried before we're not looking for stuff that's just gonna like fuck us up you know so if yeah we don't want like ass blast or 20 like that right. kind of stuff, you know? We, like, yeah, we drive through a lot of, you know, <laughs> truck stops in the middle of uh, Nevada where they've got nothing but those kind of gag sauces. And so we tend to avoid those unless there's, you know, something in it that really kind of sets it apart. And we avoid the ones with food coloring because that's disgusting. And then it's funny because you uh, we just talked a whole bunch of love about Tabasco. But, like, usually if a sauce is watery, we're probably not going to buy that one if there's, like, a, a thicker option. Yeah. So oh, yeah, you're best. very texture based. I, yeah, I like the thick sauces. Yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you get it. Yeah, that's why we love I you. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So, what are some of your favorite types of sauces, and how do you what? And how do you how do you review a sauce, sauce you don't like? You don't like that. Thank you. Oh God. Well, we're honest. <laughs> which is I what? Didn't, uh, clearly, I didn't read the questions. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> skimming, <laughs> skimming by. Well. Uh, it's, oh god it's hard because we're honest and like people uh comment often about how they love our honesty about but, sauces but we also want everyone to love us and we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings but i feel like we've hurt some feelings right like, you know like, i mean if it's not good i'm not going to tell people to buy it 
like there's plenty of good sauces people should buy but all like, you know also in this day and age you know like uh, posting a, a reel and collaborating with the the hot sauce brand who you're reviewing it's it's exposure to everybody like most of our people who watch you know it's who listen to snail mate aren't plugged into the hot sauce thing so it's you know exposure for other people and we don't want to like someone's first experience to be negative and we don't you know we want but uh, we have to be honest about how things taste yeah, and it's, it's, hard. it's hard it is hard and uh, like we're, is. we oh sorry it, you know it really depends on if it's a bad hot sauce made with good intentions by you know someone who is trying or if it's a bad mass produced like nasty shit hot sauce because oh, then yeah. we'll just be we will we'll talk just be mean. mad yeah, we'll shit about mean. like a big company <laughs> if it tastes like there's no reason you're like a multi-million dollar company and you're you have a hot sauce that tastes like shit like that's that's really stupid yeah but if it's you know someone trying their best we uh we will do our our best to you know offer positives about it that's good so Flavor Balance Heat is brought to you by High Desert Sauce Co. out of Tucson, Arizona. Zach is the owner and creative mind behind High Desert Sauce Co.'s hot sauces. He says, at High Desert Sauce Co., we make sauces that we love. The balance of bold heat and fresh flavor is the heart of our philosophy. We keep it simple by using the best ingredients we can get our hands on and letting the natural flavors run the show. High Desert Sauce Co., just the good stuff. Visit High Desert at hdsauceco.com. So what are your favorite types of hot sauces? Uh, favorite style of hot sauce? Uh, I really like this one. It's called Stress Sauce. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, got, <laughs> it's snail I made mean, stress sauce. Oh God, there's so many days I just open the fridge and like I, we have hundreds still in the fridge. And I'm like, what do I want on this? And like 95% of the time, I'm just like, well, stress sauce is going to be the best option for this. Yeah, so. we, eat, we eat a lot. <laughs> A yeah. lot of it. There's probably four open bottles in our fridge. I know. I keep looking. I'm like, why is there another bottle open? There's still half of this bottle. <laughs> but, because but no. you were somewhere and you wanted some hot sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah, opened. exactly. Right. Yep. And then we brought it home. Yeah. I like fruit. I like stuff with fruit in it. Um, I, I'm a big fan of like fruity hot sauces, uh, uh, things like that. You know? I, I really like hot sauce with honey or like maple syrup. But like even if they're super hot, I still like that like addition of like what, what honey does to it. Yeah. We're, we're sweet. We like it sweet. But also, like, really spicy. Yes. Yeah. There's that good mix. There's a couple, like, really good honey sauces that still are probably, like, a 7 out of 10, I'd say. Yeah. We're not looking to we're not looking to die, though. We're not trying to, to melt our faces. We, de- we did stuff like that, and we hit <laughs> a threshold you know. where God. we don't feel... <laughs> well, Zach is the reason we stopped doing uh, challenges. challenges. <laughs> yeah. Because... No, no. Zach <laughs> is the reason you stopped doing challenges. Well, you sent, <laughs> you sent us the gumballs, though. Zach sent us the spiciest gumball on, in the world. And Trouble bubble from K John's or oh, whatever. Oh, have it, have 16 it. million capsaicin powder. Have any of y'all done that? Nope. No. I don't do that stuff. No. Don't do it. We're, you have. No. We're not stupid. That. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> wait, wait, we're stupid. Yes, well, we did us. it on Twitch. <laughs> we did it on Twitch, and then we both had to literally disappear. We had to just stop the stream, and like people didn't know if it was a joke. Or like what? And then people were sitting on there like waiting for us to come back. And then they realized we weren't coming back because we were laying. Bentley was like, begging me to call an ambulance. And I said, yeah. no. No, I literally thought we had to go to the hospital. <laughs> it was the most painful. Th- like not even in the mouth. It was like the intestine, stomach. Like I thought that if I like lifted up my shirt, I would see like bruising from like internal bleeding. Like it was the worst pain I've ever experienced. So like, I ever I- laugh. I know. It's funny now. <laughs> and then it was so bad. Anytime I moved, I, like if I shifted my body because I was in so much pain, I would throw up. And then like I was trying to like crawl to the bathroom and I couldn't. And then I would just keep throwing up everywhere. And like the next day I had to do like six loads of laundry because I just threw up everywhere. It was just the worst. Oh, before, from one one gumball. Yeah, I it was the worst so experience. Much. Like, um, so during the pandemic, we weren't playing as much music, obviously. So we were uh <laughs> trying to get a lot of our revenue and, and views on Twitch. So we were more willing to do things that kind of hurt us. And now that we're playing so many shows and touring again, we, we, we have to protect the, the money makers, you know, yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We still like it hot, though. Don't get me wrong. But we're not trying not to. Not that kind of hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> oh, go ahead. I was going to say the hottest thing I ate was that Cully's Hottest Rum on Challenge. That was actually the first time I met Vic. I, I don't know how I got roped into eating this ramen, but yeah, that shit was pretty brutal. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. Did you do? You did I did. Weird... I did a ramen challenge uh, in Texas. Oh it was yeah, just some little podunk town, little venue we played, and uh, you didn't finish it. 
I didn't because I was like, I got a show to play tomorrow. And yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> so um, this is Zach's favorite question. Uh, I already know the answer, so I don't even know why you're asking it. Because <laughs> nobody else knows. <laughs> you're on a desert island or you, you were on a cruise ship. You're the, the sole survivors. Uh, all the oh, food no. from the ship can wash ashore. So you've got a lot of different things you can eat. Right. <laughs> but there was only one pallet of hot sauce. It can't be yours or any of Zach's. <laughs> what is it? Tabasco. Yeah, Tabasco. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That I think that would we've eaten so much. Like we, we've bought in gallons of it. Uh, I I think that would probably be the most versatile hot sauce or slash really good ingredient that we could have. And I feel like it would last a lot longer because there's a lot of local sauces that I like more than Tabasco, but I'll eat the whole bottle in like a day or two. So, like, Tabasco would definitely last longer on an island versus, like, there's some sauces I just eat the whole bottle in one meal, so. And it really, (laughs) I think, like, Tabasco would, you know, you can have in a variety of meals and it adds something to it. And you kind of control your destiny with with Tabasco. The more you add, the hotter it gets. That's true. Um, Whereas a lot of hot sauces would really kind of take over the experience every time, which is great, depending on, you know, if you really like them. But then you might get tired of experiencing like you know the, the flavor of like your show and tell sauce yeah you know, like all the time yeah that's true i can see that mm-hmm. everybody seems pretty mellow today what the fuck is going on everybody feel all right <laughs> what, what, what mercury's what, in retrograde I, and it's like Rooney and everything <laughs> what are you yeah, what, what are <laughs> your guys's uh sauces I don't, so I didn't answer that question. Zach won't answer it. <laughs> you, a, you ask it every week, and you don't have a like a one loaded. I don't answer it. He asks it. I ask it every week. He's tried to get me to stop. <laughs> Why don't you ask Zach what what his is then? He won't already, answer. I've already, I won't answer it. I don't have one. He just tells me to fuck uh-huh. off. <laughs> I will go. I will go without sauce. Or I bet you what you would will do actually. You? No, no, you would make your own on the on the island. You would just find ingredients the, and make one on the island. Yeah. I like Sand that and answer. Coconut. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. If all the yeah. food is washing up, we'll just make our own <laughs> right. sauce. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's the challenge. There you it's go. Like, There's my answer. Whatever I can make from the food that washes up on shore. That's a good <laughs> answer, Zach. <laughs> that's like, it'd be damn sauce. good. It's like chopped. You know, you get like the three ingredients that you have to make a dish with, but just hot sauce. Yeah. You get like chili peppers, but then you get like squid and jam. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah somehow Zach, somehow Zach would make coconut. it taste good. So. Does this island have coconuts? <laughs> and ferment that coconut, that coconut juice, to make some vinegar so that you can preserve it. Oh That'd my gosh! There yeah. you go. We want to get stranded yeah. with you all. We don't want to be alone. Yeah, Claire, Jesus! I was, I was just about to say Claire and I were on a cruise. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're gonna just swim up. We'll swim up with the food and be like, "Please help feed us." <laughs> Make some vinegar. We could have stayed on the cruise, but no, we want to be on the island with you guys. Right, I know. Right. <laughs> the, the only problem with having a really good hot sauce on a desert island is it makes uh, you resort to cannibalism a lot quicker. Oh my! Because God. it'll make someone else taste good. <laughs> well, they said there's. He said there's an abundance of food. So abundance yeah, of yeah, I know. Yeah. different yeah. food. Yeah, yeah okay, abundance right. of different yeah. food. We're fine. It'll eventually okay. yeah. run out, though. You know what I mean? That's right. But the, as long as there's I, still I like some hot sauce. I think that the reason that people don't want to be cannibals is not like the taste of the other bland. humans. It, it, <laughs> no, same. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god! And we live together. I'm gonna start locking my door when I sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I might need to take my name off your hot sauce. Yeah, <laughs> tastes good on other people. That's hey, right. I, I named Snailmate, so we can keep it. He has nothing to do with the name, right? Right, yeah, buddy. That's right. Yeah, sure. That was me. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, guys, what inspires you, and why? Oh gosh, um, I really like. Uh, I, I'm inspired by cartoons and video games, and kind of uh, es- escapism, and uh, just like fa- fantastical worlds of imagination. That's a huge uh, thing that inspires me uh, as a musician, and like through my my life, old Looney Tunes. Uh, just things that are like outlandish, over the top cartoon, just scenarios. I, I that in, that inspires me a lot. And then obviously a lot of different music and things like that. But isn't it great uh, how when you put your brain in a different creative spot than what you're aiming for, you it seems to funnel into that thing that you would normally would do. Mm-hmm. Any of that makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, yeah. Totally. yeah. Yeah, because a lot of yeah, because a lot of people like on if this was a music centric podcast and someone or all the time after we play a show, is people are like, oh, what's your what are your influences? And they're expecting me to just say like 
a couple bands and it's it's hard it's hardly that at all you know like it's i i try a lot of different things funnel into my love of of music uh and the the, the art that i create and hot sauce is definitely one of them it's like i oh, said yeah. being uh, able to be a part of the the hot sauce uh scene and community and meeting all these people and seeing the flavors that they bring together and the artwork that they present their their sauces with and all the different uh, things that go into it it's that's in- inspiring as well no oh, yeah because it's another form of expression I'm Claire George. I own Butterfly Bakery of Vermont. We make hot sauce, mustard, cookies, and granola, and 100% of our products are made with Vermont ingredients. The thing that I hear most often from people is that my hot sauce tastes like the peppers that are in it. We do really simple recipes that don't get too crazy and nitpicky, just to really accentuate the, the flavor of the peppers that are in there. The unique thing about our hot sauces is how much we feature the farm and the relationship with the farm and really um, bring the terroir of Vermont to our hot sauces. I am pretty sure I am the number one purchaser of Vermont grown chili peppers. I would love it if there would be a legitimate pepper market in Vermont where people would know Vermont for its peppers. We're all better for supporting each other. You know, and, and I think that part really shows itself with the collaborations that I do with the other businesses and the other farms that, that I love working together and coming up with new ideas and presenting each other with new challenges. And I think overall that's the attitude here. And I absolutely love it because that's my attitude. I try to live my life with love. The ingredients that I use, I would say that my values are reflected in that, um, that I use ingredients that, again, feel good, feel loving, feel supportive. The relationship with the farmer was how it all began. If I changed the reason for it being, if I went out and bought some commodity peppers, you know, it might not be as good. (laughs) You can find Butterfly Bakery of Vermont hot sauce, mustard, granola, and cookies at butterflybakeryvt.com. So I actually have a question for Spike and Claire real quick. Have you seen their video, Hot Sauce for Blood? On YouTube, <laughs> no. I believe I have. It's been a little bit, but I ha- I think I have. It's been a while. You need to. See, you need. To <laughs> okay, I'll look at it again. <laughs> and and I'll keep in it. mind, keep in mind, it was during COVID lockdown, so it's very low budget. It's just the two of us. It was uh, just I would us. love. I would <laughs> love to redo fucking it. Very well put together and <laughs> funny as shit. Thanks. Thank you. I, I just love low budget shit too. That'll be yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. No, we had a lot of fun. We were like, "What do we do? We're locked up. Our." Uh, our buddy Coolzy in Iowa made a beat, and he was like, "I want you all to like collab on this beat," because he was just doing collabs with a bunch of people because of lockdown. Um, and then Kalen wrote the hot sauce for blood, blood part on there. And then we're like, "Well, shit, we need a music video," and we're locked in this house, so let's let's make it just work. us, us and our yeah. hot sauce, yeah, and an iPhone. So, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, yeah. actually, that video is the reason why you guys have a hot sauce now. Yeah, Zach reached out to us and was like, I think uh, Snailmate needs a hot sauce. And no, we cried. Like, Why do you not have your own hot sauce? Because in that we, video, you, you asked Tabasco to sponsor you. I'm like, what? <laughs> Let's just make you your own. Yeah, I yeah. know. And it was a dream come we, true. We like, felt uh, unworthy because we had th- thought about it like, well, we should try to collab with, another, with uh, someone who makes hot sauce. And we felt un- unworthy of like asking someone to like make one for us. So uh when you approached us it it was it was an absolute dream come true yeah i literally shed some tears i was so stoked Mm -hmm. like and still every day i'm so proud because there's a lot of bands that come through the club i work at and they have hot sauce on the table and i buy them all unless it looks like it was like made in their kitchen because that's gross but like i buy them all and uh like we review them and like they're all not as good as hours uh, I, I mean well unfortunately a lot of them now there's a company in colorado i don't know what they're called but uh otherwise i'd talk mad shit but uh, they, they i know who it is i know they're just, I know who it they're is. just it, slapping labels on yeah. on stuff and it just tastes like salt and it's really gross and like tons of bands are getting it and it's in a plastic bottle but it looks like a glass bottle so i bought one and i, I was like oh this might be good and then i touch it and i felt that it was plastic and i'm like oh my god oh and then it just tasted like salt and like yeah. You, you old can, there's vinegar. companies that you can know. pay and get your name on like any sort of keychains, lighters, pogs, whatever you want. And now you can do it with, with hot sauce yeah, as well. It's such and a it's, shame. Uh, a lot so of bands feel- are doing that now, and it's mm-hmm. it's 
awful when they're not a good sauce. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. you can so tell the difference. We feel so lucky that we we have you. And, and, that, you. and like, that's, seriously. you know, that also kind of goes into it why, you know, sometimes we'll review uh, sauces that are from a grocery store like uh, or someone's someone's kitchen or sometimes uh stuff from like these nasty china box uh, boxes from china like we want to wait, raise awareness of what is a good sauce and what isn't yeah because people don't know and that's why people keep uh keeping these fucking uh gift box oh, uh, world of flavor 50 hot sauce boxes in business <laughs> we have two you know? more like, of those we box have to, sets. we have to yeah. spread awareness we have two more box sets in our uh, garage right now that we gotta like review just because i mean we need content but like people keep buying them and we're like please stop buying us these yeah. gift boxes of shit like, oh you like hot sauce here's this thing i got it ross it's yeah like, here's oh, 50 fuck. sauces for 12 dollars <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good like and at least they're thinking of you, you know what I mean? No, no I know. It's I very know. Kind. Just like, oh, God. But uh, we do I, I want get to... it, though. I get it, yeah. though. So It's I the awareness step. part. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, it's the I, awareness I, that people should... Even not about buying it for us, but, like, the fact that people are giving their money to someone that doesn't give a fuck about hot sauce. Like, No, mm-hmm. they're not. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've definitely purchased the uh, hot sauce advent calendar from Costco for my stepdad. Yeah, you did? <laughs> Was that many, before many you? Ago. Was mm-hmm. that before you made sauce? Uh, that's when I was still illegally making it out of my house and not knowing like anything about shit. So, oh my god, that's funny. So, 2017. Nice. Many years ago. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Uh, like this podcast. This is all Spike Mind. This podcast was. Formulated by Spike because he and I like talk on the phone a lot and two hours and he's like, why don't we just make a podcast? I'm like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Obviously, he talked me into it. Uh, so he's also he still doesn't me want to. The, no, he still doesn't. I mean, I'm here. He's quit like ten week. times. <laughs> he, he was on time. I, yeah, I'm, on, I'm early every week. Fucking yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like this podcast, Spike wants to release a hundred dollar hot sauce, and somehow Claire and myself got roped into this project as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So, seeing how you've sampled so many products, like, what ingredient, packaging, or process do you think would warrant a hundred dollar hot sauce? Edible so, gold. So don't put gold leaf in it. Uh, do not. Do that. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Um, <laughs> we and not I, truffle. I, please, yeah, yeah not oh, truffle. We need, truffle. To, please. No. No, we need no, to no. preface that question yeah. from now on with and not truffle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, I so, so tired of that. I the most expensive hot sauce we ever bought was the Tabasco 150 anniversary. Uh, it's in like a tiny little champagne bottle. It's got like it looks kind of gold, but uh, I the pepper, the mash in there was aged. I think it was 40 years, some insane amount of yeah. time. I don't so that's the only I don't know. I, I don't think 40 is right, but it's you know, it's, it was it was a lot of instead years. Instead of regular vinegar, they use like champagne vinegar and they used. Uh, or white wine vinegar or something like that. And then it was super, like the smash that was aged some crazy amount. Um, I think it was like 40 And so that was like, you know, the only thing that could like, would warrant that. And obviously you can't start that process now, you know, unless you, (laughs) so as far as an ingredient goes, I, that's, that's tough. I think the gold, I think a lot of people (laughs) will spend more money on edible gold because it's fun to eat. Like uh, when we were in Japan on poop glitter, (laughs) <laughs> yeah right you gotta, <laughs> only if you look no uh when we were in japan i went to this place and uh they had like coffee with the edible gold and it was just so such a fun experience and i paid extra like just for the experience so i think a sauce that's that expensive a lot of it too is not just the ingredients it's the experience you're having yeah and that's i think true. you kind of have to be willing to um like m- maybe uh kind of sacrifice some of your own like uh morals with the thing it's like well i know this isn't going to make it taste better and it's soup it's superfluous and it's like uh some sort of trending thing right now but like if you want to get that price tag to where it is you know like you kind of have to just I put don't know. something expensive in there put something expensive yeah. in there even if you, you know that it's pointless I don't we're know. looking at there's some really expensive soy sauces <laughs> we've been looking at that Really? Um, why? What's the reason for them being expensive? Like from Japan. Yeah, from yeah. Japan. They're, yeah. they're really good. Uh, mm. They're going to carry a lot of umami and a lot of extra nuances that yeah. you wouldn't get like, normally. 
there's bals- aged balsamic vinegars that are really, really, really expensive as well. Oh, yeah, I love that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as far as packaging, personally, I like when it's like a cleaner, simple label, like straight to the point. But something shiny you yeah. have to have on the label. Yeah, yeah, shiny helps. But like, I don't like those overcomplicated labels where it's like, what, what am I reading? And like the artwork, if the artwork's too small and stuff and like there's a lot going on. I like get confused. And in my head, that even if the sauce tastes good in my head, if I'm looking at it, I don't think it's going to taste as good as like something like very clean cut. Yeah, just like an all black label, basically, that just, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like our uh, first round of stress sauce, the you made the label too complicated. Oh, it was ugly. And it was. And that now I love the label we have. So like we even learned from our own our own mistakes yeah there, but yeah but i i mean i i really think i know that you know if if you want to release something that is you know and put your name on it that is that price point people will absolutely buy it oh god know? yeah like i that's 100 percent, no doubt in my mind and, and yeah, we're not making a lot i think we're only making a, a hundred we said 150 no. oh you guys that, keep that'll up be it I think I'll be gone in a day. <laughs> our, our, our pot makes 150. <laughs> You'll sell yeah. out. I heard, I heard 250. <laughs> Sold. As, someone, yeah. as somebody who does limited release sauces every fucking year for the holidays, if you drop the product at the right time of year, like Black Friday, whatever, like it, it, you can make 500. It's going to sell out. Dude. It's going to sell out it, immediately. One, yeah. yeah. Like when I do that four pack, that sells out in like a week and a half. And that's. That's awesome. That's fucking, you know, oh, that's a lot of bottles of sauce in a week. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's awesome. And, you know, as someone who sees a lot of things get released, uh, limited things, or, you know, has kind of kept their finger on the pulse with, like, how they do new drops of, like, Pokemon cards and stuff, it would really be ho- be who you, I feel like, to uh, make put a limit on the amount people can purchase because people love to uh, get that limited buy it thing. all and, like, uh, and then... <laughs> jack the price up and scalp it and everything like that that sucks it sucks <laughs> like for everybody. those stanley cups yeah oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah it starts trending. just put it in a stanley cup the, have a normal <laughs> bottle of hot sauce but have it come with a stanley cup yeah like it, it, would, it would be so nice to sell out your 150 bottles of hot sauce in an hour but then if you sell them all on ebay for like double or triple the price that you sell so them for, it, would, you would, it would be heartbreaking um, I think nah. <laughs> you sold it already. No one is gone. No, no, look at, no one would be taking. Uh, yeah, they would be ta- Someone would be tasting it. Right. I think another cool little thing, um, which I hope you all do with this, is if you have like a little marker, so you mark like one of a hundred and two of a hundred, or however many. Claire you're doing does that. that, don't you? Claire, yeah. you guys do that. Yeah, on yeah, that's awesome. We number our bottles. Yeah, that, that makes yeah. it like super special. I love seeing that. That like makes yeah, me I mean, feel like I'm like a part of something. So. <laughs> so we usually print it where the barcode goes, one of whatever, 450 or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Flavor Balance Heat, the podcast for hot sauce lovers and makers, is brought to you by Irish Spike's unique hot sauces and Vandal Pepper sauces. I'm Spike, the owner and executive saucier. Our sauces are handmade in the Pacific Northwest using the best possible ingredient. We believe that hot sauce equates to a balance of sensational heat coupled with a robust and complex flavor profile live your hottest life with irish spikes irish spikes unique hot sauces and vandal pepper sauces are available at saucecult.com and excuse my my ignorance and my lack of uh preparation what are uh spike and claire what are your uh brands i own uh (laughs) i own butterfly bakery of vermont um okay so it's uh this um this is our most popular sauce and so we started as a bakery but we started making hot sauce about 2014, 15. Um, and that's the majority of what we do now. So we've had a few uh-huh. sauces on hot ones and we make sauce for, um, well, for Guster and for um, Try Guys and stuff like that. So, nice. That's so yeah, dope. That's, awesome. that's amazing. You probably would know the, the your your taco sauce too. Yeah. yeah. Taco you vibes probably, only. You probably had from, taco vibes only. That was, that was okay. on season 20 of Hot Ones. I remember seeing that. Awesome. Yes. It's no, really no. good sauce. S- stupidly hot. What, what made have you switch you guys, from have baking? Have you guys not listened to this podcast at all? <laughs> no. Well, so I have this thing. When I, no. <laughs> no, it's this weird thing I have. So anytime. Yeah, guess, whose bottle, who, guess whose bottle cost just went up. <laughs> oh. No. So I have this very specific thing I do. Any band we play with or any podcast I'm on, I will not check them out or the podcast out until – I have been on it 
uh, or I've seen the band play, and then I go crazy, and then I check out everything because oh, I like, yeah, I like the weird like. Uh, I don't, I don't want to like have a first impression that's like wrong or something, or like if I hear the wrong episode first, or like if I see a, a video of a band I don't like and stuff. So like I like doing all of that after. That's that always sense. been my thing. Like yeah, any band. Enough. When I go to work tonight, I that's a good excuse. We'll, it's still going no. up, just not as much. Yeah, <laughs> you're not good. No, but even on tour, like if we book local bands to play with us, I don't listen to a single song. I look at what their genre is, and then I ask them if they want to play. And if they say yes, then we see them play at the show. I don't check out anything until they play live. That could be it's really so bad. bad on it, yeah. It's, oh, it's, no, it's fucked. It's, it's been over. bad, but it's it, fucked I fucked really over. like the. I don't know. I like the, the shock, surprise. I don't know. It might be something to do with having ADHD, but I like the stimulation yeah. of how that works. So uh, yeah, I, so I apologize, everybody. But uh, <laughs> no, you don't. Y'all I mean, listen to you, our you, podcast. You, you, can say, you can say it. I don't have Twitch, and Spike here owns Irish Spikes. Well. Irish Spikes unique hot sauces, yeah. Sauces. Nice. And, and Vandal and Pepper also, sauces, we do both. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, and I, I'd be happy if you'd like. I, I'm happy to send you some sauce, absolutely. Yeah, we would I can send be. you guys some sauce, too. Yeah. We would oh love that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we'd love to send you all some snail mate stuff. Oh, great. Have yeah, you, have you tried Have you tried the snail mate sauce? Yeah. I have. It's been a long time, I but I have, yeah. We'll, we'll mail you some. Yeah. Spike, did you have the OG or have you had the newer version? I had it right after you guys made it. So okay. if the first, you changed it. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot so hotter this now. Is, oh. This is stressy herb sauce. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Same flavor it, it, profile. It's just a lot hotter. Little uh, fuller flavor, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's cool. really good. More yeah. well, black garlic forward with some sweetness from dates. It's nice. amazing. Awesome. Amazing. We'll mail you both some. Sounds yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Send, send your will, address. I to... will, I will okay. mail them some. <laughs> oh, my God. No, because I want to mail them well, some other swag, too. I want to mail them well, swag. And, and, and I also the need swag, their address but... so I can send them stuff. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Point being, that sauce is for snail mate on tour for gas money. I will send them bottles of hot sauce. You send Aww. them the swag. Thank you. Okay. Thank we'll you. send you it's the swag. Kind. There you go. See, Zach is the best. We'll, we'll see how long it takes Zach to actually. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I got your fucking chilted bean peppers ready to go. So oh, now yeah. I, got I want those. I want those. <laughs> Throw them in the you bag. Know, you have to try those on camera, though. Okay. Yes. Sure. So yeah. they're, they're just, they're just, I got chilled bean flakes. I don't have the actual pods. Oh. If you want chilled bean pods, I can get you those. No big deal. I mean, like, but, but I thought you said they were really short season. They, so they're, oh, every chilled bean is dehydrated. Every single one that comes off the fucking plants is dehydrated because no one's buying oh. fresh chilled beans. Oh, I've had so. fresh. Oh. They're, they're a different pepper, dude. I promise you. Really? Mm. One one hundred percent. Chiltepines, all chiltepines are like dehydrated, and you know I can be Chilt talking on my ass, but <laughs> you know, I, I could probably get them fresh. I could probably get them fresh, but they're gonna cost a shit ton of money. Those ones, that, us. those yeah, ones I so popped in my mouth. You just answered the question for us. Yeah, there you go. Now I I want chiltepines in there. I don't even know what they taste like, and I want them there. You there we really go. Don't. Not, yeah, not, same. Not not the kind of sauce that we're talking. I'm fucking telling you. Why? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> I'm going to send you some chilled beans. You are yes. going to taste them, and you're going to be like, "Oh, I get it. I promise." <laughs> I so mean, that, that feels like a challenge. Yeah. How do? You, how are you going to decide on a name for it? I think we just Thought should call it hundred dollar hot sauce. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a great. <laughs> that's what I think we should can, call can, it. Can, can it we does can roll we off in the like tongue. Latin or something? Or, oh, you know, so, yeah. so then no one knows like what it that. means. <laughs> it will be like this long, <laughs> right? Uh, no, yeah. it's just X, I think. No, it's C, C, no. isn't it? No, that's a. I don't remember. Uh, L, L, L. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what the I Super Bowl is. I feel but, really hey. stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> I should know. I've been in school in a while. Yeah, <laughs> no, that worked. I like when the X the is names, ten, so it has like to be. The, Carl's Jr. did yeah. like the eight dollar burger or something. The ten dollar burger, fucking, and it worked. Yeah, that's a great so, name. Kaylin, it is uh, currently five thirty. I hate to see you go, and I'm not trying to be your daddy, but um, I can, I can, I can extend it another seven minutes. Well, good. Then we can do hot sauce, hot takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are things that most people are on board with, but you're not. Okay. For instance, Spike. What? Go ahead. Give him your for instance. I I don't like. Uh, I I think Tabasco. Um, <laughs> uh, How dare you, Cholula. Uh, yeah, tapatio. and ta pe tapatio. I hate to say it, I, I call them garbage sauces. 
I do not like uh, Tapatio or Cholula either. Yeah. And I can see yeah. the point with Tabasco. I genuinely think has some. It's more redeeming. First of all, it was the OG. It was the first, and so that kind of gives it a pass right there. But Cholula and Tapatio are just junk. Yeah. Uh, how agree. do you feel about Valentino? Valentino's okay. Um, yeah. And I like Pico Pica better. Um, and okay. Zach doesn't because it's too salty for him. But I like I, th- I like Pico Pica better. And my of all the table Mexican sauces, I'd say Yucateco is by far the best. Oh yeah, that the Caribbean great. style Yucateco is one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah, I like the the neon green that has that's with the with the green. talking about food coloring. <laughs> the food green. coloring yes. is awful, but it's so good. Yeah, it definitely makes your guacamole a lot more green. It yeah. does very good. <laughs> God. So, what's your uh, hot sauce hot take? I mean, I feel that way about sriracha. Oh. You know? yeah. I'm not a big uh, sriracha fan. They did really change it up. It oh. used to be hotter, I swear. It used to be spicier. Yeah, I think well, you're they, right. They've gone through so many different pepper changes I and know. distributors and all that stuff. Sad. Uh, oh, that's hard. I mean, I guess I would say the same. Like Cholula, I just don't. I yeah. don't like Cholula. Well, and you were also saying you're not big on uh, water, more watery sauces. Am I correct? Yeah, except for Tabasco. I don't know why Tabasco gets the pass, but I don't see that as a watery sauce. I see it as like a work of art. So <laughs> it's like a different, it's a different thing. Like I've never looked at that and been like, that's watery. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds crazy. It's so watery. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's just, it's just like a painting. of. What do y'all beautiful. feel about uh, Tabasco's like habanero and scorpion pepper? I mean, Red, I think those are. Don't they're, care. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Uh, they're I like great. The, their I, chipotle is really good. Yeah. yeah, I like some of their other sauces. Their, their habanero and and, and uh, scorpion are full of fr- they're very fruity and they're awesome. They're, yeah, there's they're, a ton they're of really fruit good. in them. I, yeah. I will say, with wholeheartedly, and I don't know how you feel about this, but their green can be just thrown away. I don't, oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. it's just and awful. I, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. It I don't know how they like let that slide. I don't yeah. know why that's there. It's so yeah, bad. Yeah, Chipotle's uh, the the restaurant is really screwing the pooch having that in all their yeah, stores. I know. Yeah. Wow, I Gross. didn't know that was. The, oh wow. It's oh, hot sauce show and tell time. Okay, Ooh, you go first because you got to work. Yeah. yeah. Um, I brought Super Zarko from Croatia. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wow. We got it when we were on, on tour over there. Yeah, we picked it up at a grocery store in Croatia, and it is made with Siberian blueberries, tomato, onion, curry, habanero chili pepper, brown sugar, and apple cider vinegar. And it is – I don't know what they're doing to their blueberries over there in Siberia, but this shit is awesome. Really it is good. a completely – we've had a million blueberry sauces. We all have. But that uh, the Siberian blueberries with the curry and the brown sugar, it's fucking really fucking good, and uh, it's its own thing. And I would never thick. have thought to put blueberry and curry together. That's that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'm like fascinated by that. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. The, oh my god. The only other cu- thing that uh, I know, Chile Lengua de Fuego has a berry curry sauce, but it's a it's like a different type of curry. But this is uh, they've got a couple really good sauces uh, that we found in in Europe, and this is incredible which um, it was really hard to find hot sauce in europe like we, we searched everywhere we went probably yeah six to ten grocery stores a day and like we found 12 hot sauces like the whole time we were there yeah like we were looking and we went to we went all the way from uh uh belgium to serbia and like all the we drove the whole way and like went through all the hungary and stuff and we only found like 12 hot sauces it was now, Pretty I bet sad. you found more in England, though, because they're kind of having a hot sauce renaissance of their own right now. Uh, we didn't go to England. So oh. Sadly. No, yeah. I know. Pretty much stuck to EU countries uh, on this, this last tour. but uh, England's really hard to get into to play shows without a ton of paperwork and a lot of money. pieces and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so that's mine. Uh, I uh, the, the company is Hrustek, H-R-U-S-T-E-K. Um, and uh, you could probably find it in Google. They've got a couple of different varieties, but yeah, this is. Uh, did, we, did we get another one? Yeah, yeah, I think oh, we got yeah. a couple other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mine. Awesome. I, I got this uh, Dawson's. Oh God, where's the camera? There it is. <laughs> Zuzu Seven Pot Sauce. <clears throat> this one has sambuca in it, so it's a uh, red pepper, seven pot mash, garlic, maple syrup, vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and then it has sambuca, fennel, ghost pepper, and sea salt. So it has like black and... licorice vibes. It's it's nice. crazy. I I hate black licorice, 
but like whatever they did here, it like really brings out the Sambuca in like the best non black licorice way. Like I and I hate hot sauces with like alcohol and stuff in them. Like they normally, I just like they. I can taste the alcohol and it like ruins it for me. But like this is like a. It has an herbal kind of crazy medicinal uh, taste that really fucking works that you would think would be nasty. Yeah, but it's not like, I don't know. It has, it's so weird. I have no idea how to describe it because I've never tasted anything like it. Like there's nothing to compare it to. Like I've tried, I've tried. I I even asked my friends, I brought it to work and had people try it and like, nobody can describe it. It's crazy. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> have you had has any of all y'all had this one? I, well, no. I feel like I it looks like I think I have, but I'm not positive. I've had a lot of Dawson stuff, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's they make some good stuff. It's yeah, probably my favorite do. one by them. They sponsored one of our shows and uh, we played in Ontario, and it was very kind of them to give us a bunch of sauces. And yeah, it was th- cool. Yeah, nice. They didn't spot. They didn't sponsor it. Well, they, they Zach, look at Zach. They uh, yeah, <laughs> they, they donated some sauces. to They the donated show. sauce. They and then we not, took their it name home. was not on it. That was they it. Were not sponsored by them. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking care. Make that <laughs> money, dude. I don't give a shit. There was no money, sadly. Just lots of free sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Which is usually all we work yeah. for. Lots of good sauce. We got it bomb. I brought um, Hoff's wake up call. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's good. This is oh. um this is my husband like lives on this. This is why he has it in a squeeze bottle. He got the like half gallon jug and put it in a squeeze bottle. Um and uh yeah, it, Hoff was like one of the like early craft sauces that I got into, um, I think via the heatness maybe. Um, but I just always really like their sauce. And also, interestingly, this also has curry powder in it, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow. That was one of the sauces that inspired me to ask Zach to make a coffee-based sauce was Hoff's and yeah. uh, Queen Majesty's. Uh, yeah, this yeah. is really good. Sauce. And both of those, I was like, coffee and hot sauce is incredible. And so that's what I asked Zach for. And then he made... He improved on he all made, of them. He made the best one. No, I love that Hoffs one, though. It's that very shit's good. amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's great. I also love the this, like, squeeze bottle thing. It's like, so he doesn't sell it in the squeeze bottle. I was But he say. sells the squeeze bottle, like, to accompany the half gallon. And oh. we do half gallons, and I kind of want to do this. We've actually been selling, uh, putting uh, pumps in our half gallon so people can just pump it straight out. But that's, oh, that's, this is probably a little bit more reasonable. I was going to say, I've only ever seen <laughs> no, it in I a glass the, flask, but that squeeze bottle. I think the just... pump is totally fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a <laughs> half gallon of one of Claire's sauces on my counter with the pump, and I love it. Oh, <laughs> my tacos in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, nice. More oh squeeze bottles and, and pumps. That's, yeah. And that's why I like like yellow bird sauces is I can squeeze them on. like It's a condiment. You know? We use uh, the, uh, the eight ounce kind of the – Secret Aardvark style squeeze bottle. Mm. We yeah, just those, those are great. Would you bring Sprite? I brought. Or Zach. Okay. Zach. Sorry. <laughs> I brought. Uh, um, is this? It, I can always. Yeah, it's uh, Jay's small batch. It's a bean chili sauce. Ooh. What? I got this Bentley when I went wooden. out there and visited, and uh, it is really good. Would you? Ref- would you refuse to try, try it? it? No. Bentley won't eat beans. I won't eat beans. Oh, really? Yeah, like we any found kind his of limit. No, I don't like beans. We found the limit. I would love to try that. That <laughs> sounds awesome. What's the flavor profile? Bean. It, it really is very that. bean forward, and I and that's why I <laughs> like, like it. Billy's like, squirming. He's like, oh, beans. Green, it's, like green, it's like green chili bean dip, dude. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, Ooh, That sounds crazy. That sounds, sounds love awesome. It. That's more for you. Jay's small batch? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, his sauces are fantastic. I mean... The um, mustard glen is ridiculous. It's so good. Well, Bentley probably he's not a big fan of the alcohol flavor in inside of in sauces, so he might not like that. Sauce. It's pretty mild in it, though. It's like it's a back end flavor because I would have. So I'm sensitive. I'm not to that. picky. I know what I like. Yes. I see alcohol in it. You know what I mean. But yeah. I'm very sensitive. So I brought. So I think I shot at these. Oh Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, this is called, it is called. We got the beats. We got the beats. Yum. I we meant to buy up. some of theirs at the Fiery Food Show, and I just got caught up. We picked some of theirs up in Canada as well. They make some good stuff. Yeah. We didn't get that one though. That looks awesome. I didn't see that one. Uh-uh. Otherwise, we would have bought it. Is it very beady? <laughs> All right, everybody. I really appreciate you having me on. I have to run. Bentley is going to take it over from here. Have fun. Thank you. It was really, really nice. Really so great much. meeting you. Really great meeting you. I look forward to talking to you all again. Take care. Bartenders, God, I'm a bartender too. Get off with the fuck, man. So, well, tell that he, 
I got off. Um, he forgot to request off this weekend for our shows. So we have shows in California this weekend coming up, and he forgot to request them off, so he had to trade shifts because he did request this off. But we have shows in California that he didn't request off. So Just, just do a Zoom call for the show. Oh, my God, right? <laughs> like, can you all hear this? Yeah. Oh <laughs> the my lag. God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just, it's just Kaylin on a computer screen. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> while, while you're doing drums. And we can just play the album so it sounds good, and we just pretend. <laughs> there you fun. go. Lip sync. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Claire, what did you so bring? What, uh, I already did mine. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up call. I forgot. What? That's just so right good. Today, man? You seem off. I am a little off, off yeah. It's been a long week. Yeah, I screen print on the side, and I had to do these uh, two-color shirts on the front and then back, and, like, it's hot outside, and it's just, like... The fuck is that noise? No one else heard that? I did hear I know, it. I, I heard it, too, and I, it wasn't me. Yeah, it's not me, either. I don't know. It sounded like something was printing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not near a printer. That's scary. That's weird. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave, yeah, I'm going to leave all that in because... <laughs> Someone, someone's going to, like, screenshot. There's going to be a ghost behind me or something, and I'm never going <laughs> to ever sleep again. <laughs> I got... You can come stay in my warehouse. I would love that. There you go. It's probably probably less ghosty than here. So. I don't know. It's Tweaker Town. I'm pretty sure people have died in there. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> our, our house was built in the 70s, so who knows what happened here. 53. Our house was oh. built in 53. Wow. I often, I often think about, I wonder how many old people have died in this house. Yeah, I wonder that too. And our house is like boarded up when we bought it. We had to put like we had to put windows in and shit. Like the whole kitchen was just boarded up, and we had to remodel it all. So it's just you never know what's going on. That's it. Crazy. Yeah. So what's next for Stalemate? Where do you see oh, you guys going? We well, this year we're staying home a lot. We're playing out of town most of the weekends and stuff. We're gonna go on a summer tour and like a October tour, but that's really mild for us because um, we're just working on new music. And then next year, we already have plans. We're going to hit Brazil for the first time. So I'm really excited to do that. And then uh, we're going to go to Europe again for sure. And then if we can fit in Japan, we're going to do that as well. But that's that's like the the one we're not sure about yet because we, we want to try out Brazil. And we have a friend that's going to take us there. But we're just going to keep grinding and looking for hot sauces all over the world. And hopefully there's more in Brazil than there was in Europe. So. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, when you guys, I got. I always ask this, and uh, it's always, almost always a no. So when you when you tour in the United States, do you ever, ever go to Spokane? Oh, uh, we have, yeah, we have. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, uh, we've never really had a good time there. Oh, really? But we, <laughs> that's we why have, nobody comes there. <laughs> yeah, we we played a biker bar, and after every song, um, there was it was funny because like a, a small group of people came out to see us. And they were all like wearing our shirts and stuff, and they were having a blast. But it was still at a biker bar, and like these people would have never been to that bar unless we were playing there. Yeah. Um, and then at the bar, there's all these bikers. After literally after every song, they're like, "Thank you," and it was so <laughs> awkward. Like, wow. and they just wanted us to leave so bad. Um, and then we've played a really small town. What's the town uh, west of Spokane? Like very like Coeur ten. Uh, yeah, I think there we've. Or is there a smaller? Is there is there a town called like Three Lakes or something? There's a smaller town. Oh, it's like um, barely even a town. There's I'm, like a bar. I'm blanking, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a town there. Uh, we played a bar like on the on the side of the freeway, <laughs> and that was actually really fun. Like literally, you're uh, driving on that freeway like into Spokane, and on the right side, right before you hit uh, Spokane, there's like a little bar, and that was fun. If you ever, but, I mean, I. I tell you, the college town, uh, in Moscow or Pullman, uh, Pullman, Washington, or Moscow, Idaho, are actually that's where I, we are, and oh, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good. There's a place called uh, John's Alley that's really great. Awesome! I'll hit you up about uh, reminding me about the name of that because yeah, that'd absolutely. be that'd be dope. Yeah, because now we usually just drive through and we stop. There's a spot in Spokane. We stop and get a smoothie, and then we kind of just continue. Keep going. Montana. Yeah, <laughs> Spokane yeah. is weird because there'll be places, there'll be bands that'll come through and it'll, they'll do great, and then. It just depends really on where you're playing, I think, more than anything. And I don't know it well enough to, like, suggest anything because I'm about totally. an hour and a half south. So, Yeah, and it's one of those weird towns that's just hard to book. Like, any of the venues there, they, like, they're it's really weird. Like, most towns we have no problem, like, booking a show. And there it's always been really hard. 
So. I keep trying to get skating yeah. Polly to come through, and they they don't they won't do it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like. I feel like skating Polly is a little too big for small town. Spokane's shows. a pretty big town, though. I thought you meant, I thought you meant Moscow. Oh, yeah. Right? No, they wouldn't come to Moscow. <laughs> they wouldn't do well. <laughs> we did a Naked Giants hot sauce, and they talked about coming here at some point, but I don't think it ever came came about. But they were talking about going. There's a place called Rico's in uh, Pullman, and they talked about trying to play there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. There's pretty much a place to play anywhere if you if you look hard enough. Yeah. Just... Just if it's gonna be a good time or not is the the hard part to know. Yeah. So we don't play biker bars anymore. That's like our one rule. No, <laughs> no, no biker bars. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need we we need to get you a following to where we can get you into like 191 and Rialto. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's gonna happen. We're uh we're opening for some cool bands this year. I can't say because they're not announced yet, but uh we're we're grinding. So. Yeah, it'll be a matter of time. But we're never going to give up. We like believe in this band more than anything. So, have you played uh, Wow Hall in Eugene? No, but my friend uh, actually is the booker there. Oh my god, it's the it's oh, my favorite funny. place in the U.S. to to go see a band. Absolutely awesome. the best because I've that's seen so, so cool. many good acts there, and you always get to interact with them when they get there. So I got to meet all kinds of great people. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, my friend's the booker there. Um, he always helps us get a, a show somewhere smaller because we're not big enough for that yet. But uh, he, yeah, that's dope. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. So do you have any questions for us? Uh, I was wondering how, Claire, how did you, why did you switch to hot sauce from baking? Like what was the <laughs> <Don't>, moment? <laughs> we still bake, um, but it's like 10% of what we do at this point. Um but, uh, no, we just started trading at the farmer's market. If, if things, if we didn't sell out, we'd trade with farmers and they would have peppers left over. We'd make hot sauce out of that. That would sell really well. Are you guys getting an echo off of me? No. No. A little, a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so it would, um, uh, so that would do really well. So then we would, um, so then we kept making that. And then it, we just kind of kept doing what people wanted us to do. So we just like, and now we mostly make hot sauce and we make a lot that's of other so people's cool. hot sauce too. So that's, that's fun. Oh, that's awesome. That's really yeah. cool. And you Spike, what got you into making hot sauce? I was a chef and, uh, the, I started working at this like shitty little bar and, uh, it wasn't a shitty little bar. I should say, well, I started no, working. Tell the whole, tell the whole story. Not yeah, that I want to, I, I yeah. want to hear the whole like, thing. You had an opportunity to uh, work with like, yeah. Yeah, I was uh and you um, chose. Yeah. I got hired at a really nice place in Portland, but we ended up not moving to Portland. We moved to Eugene. And uh and I got hired at a really nice place there and turned it down to work because this bar in South Eugene um they paid really well and and paid really well in tips. And so Hell yeah. Uh, my Monday wing night got busier than Saturday night. It just was I couldn't keep wings in the place. And so, wow. and I would do these creative kind of different, uh, uh, wing sauces and I would do something different every week. And so finally I just ended up, I, the, my fans wanted me to, uh, start oh, my own wing restaurant. And instead I ended up, uh, doing the hot sauce cause it was a lot cheaper. Totally. Yeah. So the upfront cost of starting a restaurant is crazy yeah. expensive. Crazy expensive. And I'd been My a God. chef for yeah. a long time and just didn't want to keep doing it. I'm too old. So Totally. It was like, I can do hot sauce. And I'm too old for hot sauce, too. But I'd still do it. <laughs> and you can't ship wings across the country. So, like, people can't taste your flavors unless they are able to visit a restaurant, too. So I think it's cool to be able to ship your your personality and your flavor, like, anywhere in the world. That's, like, the coolest thing. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, one of the benefits, uh, I, you guys know this, uh, that... Uh, that you don't think about is as a chef, if somebody I respect walks into my restaurant, first of all, you don't want to go out and bug them. And second totally. of all, you hope they order your best dish. It's like a, you know, a random thing, but I can pick my favorite sauce and send it to any chef that I respect. And then I get to send them my best thing. And it's awesome totally. to be able to do that. So. Yeah, no, that is super awesome. And I've done that a lot. So. Hell yeah, that's so sick. And Zach, I know I know your story because I've I've studied you and I read all your articles and stuff. So I don't think I have a question. <laughs> I guess. Well, no, actually, I do. 
What uh, before you met us, was there ever another band you thought about making a hot sauce for, and why did you pick us? Uh, it just seemed like the right thing to do, honestly. You know, I'm not like Spike and Claire. I don't have to make sauce for famous people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we will uh, be one day. So exactly, exactly. See, I yeah. want to, I want to grow with the smaller guy. Fuck, fuck these already celebrities. So I want to <laughs> be, be part of this process because we we're we're like coming up together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're struggling together. Like you probably experience a lot of the same struggles that I do. Like being oh my as god, as I am. It's like you know what I mean. Yeah. We we get each other. Totally. Yeah, I know. It's it's hard be doing what you love in the beginning, but like I know it's worth it to keep going. Like there's nothing else I'd rather be doing than like playing music and touring the world and uh trying people's hot sauce and sharing our hot sauce with other people. So it's like I know it's the right path, but yeah, it's not it's not easy at times before you like hit that point. It's always some kind of constant stress about finances or like how are we gonna get here or there or like you know what i mean so and like touring's a gamble you never know like there's no guarantee how much merch you're gonna sell or anything like that so it's like it's a whole thing and then when you're home uh you don't really sell merch uh unless you do a special drop or something so like most of our income comes from being on tour but then we want to be home with our girlfriends and our cats so it's like this whole like juggle of life you know yeah yeah i could have a whole episode about that position Maybe we get you a high desert sponsored bus, and then the oh girlfriend. My God. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Seriously, I was However, just going to say, <laughs> it's not going to be printed snail mate. It's going to be printed high desert. That's fine. <laughs> that's a, that seems safer, honestly. Anyways, because people don't need to know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a, uh, that would be sick as hell. That that's actually funny you say that because our goal. We were just talking with our girlfriends and stuff, and we're like, the goal one day would be for all of us to go on tour like in a bus with the cats oh and, there you like, go it would, yeah all right Bentley, you ready for some rapid fire questions yeah oh god okay <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, these will be uh they're pretty simple and uh so i and i tailored them for you guys so uh you win the lottery what's the first so uh, what's the first hot sauce related thing you buy oh god uh, i mean i would hot sauce related thing i mean i would just buy the packs from like every local company i could find like the like how Zach does the four packs, I would just go and find all the packs. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you had to give up playing music but could do anything else, what would you do? Work for Zach. <laughs> you know, that's probably not too far from the truth. <laughs> I, I'd, I would definitely be involved in some kind of food or hot sauce thing um, if I couldn't play music anymore. It would Because like hot sauce and food are art. And honestly, probably a hot sauce thing because I work in a kitchen part time and like that shit's so dirty. Like my hands are always greasy. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. That's, if you could go back in time and change one thing about your band, what would it be? Uh, I wouldn't have released our first three EPs. Oh. <laughs> All right. If, you bra yeah. if your brand were a caveman, would it be a hunter or a gatherer and why? I think. Rapid gatherer. fire. Come on. Quit gatherer. thinking. Yeah, uh, not. I mean, I don't. I don't eat animals, so not hunting. No, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> well, and, and yeah. you guys, you guys said it. I mean, as soon as I asked the question, I knew the answer because you guys go yeah. from town to town and gather hot sauce as you go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Describe your hot sauce, the snail mint hot sauce, without saying a single ingredient or heat level. It's sharp, filling, and it makes your soul sing. I love it. That's awesome. That's great. If Pepto Bismol asked you to help them make a hot sauce, what ingredient would you start with? I guess garlic. I don't know. <laughs> First thing that came to your mind. That's I mean, that it. would get rid of so that would get rid of something. I don't know. It needs to be something strong. I don't know. <laughs> That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Thank you so much. Sweet. This has been no, a blast. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we had a good time. And yeah, I'm so sorry. Kaylin did request it off, and then it's okay. shit happens. We yeah. understand. Yeah. But, we we can't thank y'all enough for your time, and uh, we're super excited to try y'all's sauces. Yeah, um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get your uh, Zach. You, do you have their address, or should I just email you and you can send it to me? Uh, it's real easy. Snailmatebookings at gmail dot com. Oh That's no, I meant, yeah, you know your your <laughs> oh, actual address address. address. Yeah. Actually, so we can I, send I don't have their We can't email you hot sauce. <laughs> right, just send it. <laughs> It wouldn't One be day. as tasty. I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have their actual address because they okay. recently moved. 
So I'll just email you and I'll give you yeah, my, send- uh, I know you got Zach's address, but I'll send you mine and Claire's address. Yes. Yeah. Yep. We would love to send you some swag. Yeah. Don't forget to yeah. send us your address back. People forget. And I want to send you stuff. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. We'll send, yeah. Yeah, send, send me what size shirt y'all wear. Oh yeah. What size shirt do you guys and wear? Large and medium. Large and medium. It is. Send and then, you a sauce uh, shirt. And sick. Yeah. I got a hot sauce shirt on right now. Ah, there you go. That's all, pretty much all I wear now. Um, Zach, I need your uh, size and address too, because we're printing like hot sauce for blood shirts this week. Awesome. So, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's gonna be Her. sick. We're doing like puff paint. It's gonna be uh, black on red with puff paint, and then we're gonna do black on black with puff paint. So. Well, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. You have a great one now. Yeah. This has been a Spike Mine Media production.